Hi guys, so we are going to be talking today about how I set up for my tarot readings. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and just talk to you guys about that. But first, before we even start that, I'm gonna show you guys the tools that I use because I actually film with my phone. <laughs> <laughs> so I can't really show you my phone while I'm filming, filming with my phone, but I can show you the other, other products and then I'll show you guys like how I go about setting it up and all of that, okay? So if you're interested in knowing how I set up for my tarot readings, please keep watching. Okay. So this is my desk, right? My little desk. <laughs> um, and before I actually show, you know, I talk about everything in detail, I'm just gonna show you guys what I use because it's easier because I, this is what I technically put my phone on. Um, so first things first, when I am filming for any of my YouTube videos or any of my tarot reading videos, I use my cell phone, okay? So I just have a basic eight plus iPhone, iPhone eight plus. Um, and I find that the bigger phones with the bigger screens work best because I could see better and <laughs> I just feel like I have more control over the, when, I'm, when the screen is larger. So that's one tip. Um, another thing is I film, um, I used to use my laptop, okay? Um, or I also had, I would have my laptop set up with my older videos, but I'll go into detail that later. Um, I have a tripod here. So this is a Joby. I feel like, yeah, Joby, um, little tripod. It's one of those like standing on the desk type of tripods. It's not one of those self-standing, like, you know, five foot tall <laughs> tripods. It's just a little one. Um, but I have found that if I need to have um, more height, I stick it on a, t a pile of boxes or like a pile of books. So I always have like some boxes around or like I said, some books and you just make do with what you have, you know? So that's that's how I get height <laughs> with my tripod. Um, and it's just a basic three leg tripod. Um, and then for the older videos that I used to do, um, I was using a webcam. So this is um, a Logitech. Let's see if it'll, I don't know if it's gonna focus there. A Logitech, this is the HD 1080. Um, so, I, and it's basically, you plug it into the USB and um, I'll show you guys how I would set that up. So there was that, that's, that's another option as well. Um, and then I also find, just, just to throw it in there, um, when you use a mouse for your laptop, I love the wireless mouses. I think you just have more freedom with the wireless mouses and it's less wires to deal with when you have everything plugged in. So that is basically all I use to do my videos. Hey, Starla. Okay, so let's get into the rest okay, of Okay guys, so I have my phone balanced, set up, hooked up on the tripod like I showed you and I actually have it sitting on the boxes. It looks a little bit tilted because um, sometimes it just doesn't stand up straight. So that's the only downfall <laughs> of the tripod is that sometimes it just, the legs get too bent and then it's really hard to kind of get it the way I want it. And so once I just get it to sit, I leave it alone so see how it moves that's the other downfall about the tripod tripod it used to have a little stick thing that I could use to kind of hold it in place but of course that broke off and I just have not replaced my tripod with a new one so I just have to deal with what I got and it works for the most part it works you know so um, <laughs> so that's the first thing is get yourself a tripod because your videos will not be bouncy tissue is popping out of my bra <laughs> your videos will not be bouncy and you have more freedom with your hands and I just find that it, it helps so the tripod that I use I bought this one off of Best Buy I live in the States I live in California we have Best Buys I don't know what you guys have outside of the States but if you have a Best Buy or you can also order online um, I got my tripod from there I don't remember how much it cost, but I wanna say it was like maybe $30. It wasn't expensive. Um, they had other ones, like better quality ones that were more pricey. They even had like the full length ones that stand up on the floor and it's like up to like six feet. I didn't get that because I don't really need that. Um, <laughs> most of my videos are just like filmed 
within like, you know, the half portion of me or the table. So I really don't need a big tripod, but I guess later on in life, if I'm ever like this mega YouTube star, maybe, but I doubt it. <laughs> So um, about $30, I would say, at Best Buy, um, and you can find just a basic one like that. It's like a standing desk tripod. <laughs> you could plug in your phone so it could stand, um, it could hold it horizontally or it could hold it vertically. So I do both. Um, you just tw twist it and it'll, you know, it snaps into place. So I use both depending on the video. So when I'm doing like my Instagram stories, obviously I'm f I'm filming vertically, but when I do my YouTube, most of the time it's it's horizontal unless I'm getting lazy and I'm just holding the phone. Then I film vertical because it's just easier. <laughs> Um, okay, so those are my newer videos and you guys will probably see that the, the, the difference in the quality of my videos. Um, I would say maybe from the very beginning of my videos, which was like in 2014 to like maybe about like 2017. <sighs> I would say maybe 2017. I have to I have to go back and look, but I'm chances are I'm not going to do that. So <laughs> but around that time frame, so 2014 to 2015 for sure, I am filming with my laptop. So I have a very old laptop. This is the same one that I've been using forever. It's my little HP. Um and for like literally the first older older videos, I think I was actually using the um <laughs> the webcam thingy like that's attached to the like to attached to the laptop so like it has every laptop has a little camera right here oh there you go you can see the tripod tripod <laughs> see how it's on the boxes um so every laptop has the camera hole thing so i used to just set up the the laptop literally on a couple stacks of books so it would be high up like face value with me <laughs> and i would film that way um, but once I got tired of doing that, because it was almost impossible to film readings that way, um, because usually when I would film readings, I would put the tablecloth, like the spread cloth over the keyboard so you can tell. And I was literally tilting the screen so that it was filming this portion and then the table. So that's how I was filming my readings in the old old videos <laughs> um so if you ever saw like i was filming me and then i tilted it down that's what i was doing so i know that that's going to answer a question that one of my viewers was asking me so that's how i that's what that's what you were seeing <laughs> now um once i got a little bit more tech savvy um i think i was watching youtube videos on like how people film for cheap like because i didn't want to spend a lot of money <laughs> on my camera stuff so then someone mentioned um, little desk cams, like little webcam things. And Logitech is the brand that Best Buy has. I'm sure they still have it because I probably bought this one, like I said, two, three years ago. So not too long ago. I'm sure that they still have it. But anyway, they come with a cord and the cord, um, you plug it into your USB, right? And so um, you, ha it's a camera like this. It has a, you know, pretty decent face. The speakers are right here. So this is where the, the microphone, the microphone, microphone, yeah. The recording device, <laughs> it's all right there. <laughs> but you could also purchase like a little microphone and you could like plug it into your shirt, which I wanted to do at one point, but I never did because this was pretty, it was, it was okay. So, <laughs> so then anyway, you plug it this, this into the side of the laptop and then um, the Logitechs have a little piece here that lifts so that this part lifts up and then um you could attach this let me see does this part come off it's been a while since i've used this yeah so you could attach you could attach it some to something so it has the hole so if you have a tripod usually they are all the same you can like plug it into the tripod but i didn't have one so what i what i would do literally was I would put the laptop, set it up, you know, on my desk, plug this in, and then I would go, literally I would open it and I would balance it on my laptop, right? <laughs> so then that's filming me and then I would always have to lift the laptop up so I would like put it on boxes 
and I would film it that way, okay? And then when I wanted to film down, like to film the table, I would tilt the laptop down just a little bit. And usually this was getting the rest of the table. So that's what I would do, you guys. Um, sometimes, <laughs> not gonna lie, but sometimes I used to plug it, like put this, balance this on like the window blind, or I would balance this on like a candle or something, like a, not a lit candle, but a candle, so that I had, I, I was able to move the laptop out of the way, because there was times where I was just like, I don't want this fucking laptop to be like what I'm filming on. <clears throat> So I would, I would eventually do away with the laptop, but this had to be plugged into it so the laptop couldn't be far away because I had to be able to film. Um, so that was the downfall of the webcam was that the cord is pretty long, but you have to have it plugged into your laptop in order to film. So that was annoying. Um, so that's the only downfall, but that's how I would make it work. So, and then I upgraded to the phone. <laughs> So why did I never film with my phone to begin with? Well, because I never had enough space on my phone. And I'm sure everybody can relate. Um, <laughs> you know, like when you get that dreaded message where it's like saying your storage is almost full or whatever. So I couldn't film videos on my phone or have videos saved on my phone up to a certain amount of time. So my, my, my filming was just impossible with the cell phone um up until i <laughs> decided i was just going to pay the extra money and when my my husband and i renewed we got you know we got our new phones in like literally i think this was 2018 no 2017 my phone is almost it's i'm almost done paying it off next month um so two years um so 2017 october 2017 um we got our new phones so this is my 8 plus is two years old but it's still good as new um and <laughs> I told my husband this is TCM so I need all the space and he's like okay if you want to pay for it and I was like yeah so um I got the I don't know how much 250 gigabytes the the, the most the most space that you can have on your phone basically is the, is the package I got. <laughs> My husband just got the basic whatever package because he doesn't really use much space on his phone. But I was like, um, and the guy asked me too, he's like, oh, do you download movies and stuff? And I'm like, no, I, I, I record videos. And he's like, oh, okay. And so... <laughs> I wanted to just be able to record my YouTube videos and my tarot reading videos and be able to have them saved on my phone and not ever have to worry about running out of space. So that's what I do. <laughs> and um, yeah, I pay a little bit extra for it, but it's so worth it. And so, um, and I use it as a tax write-off for TCM because it's business. So um, it just worked out. Everything works out. And, <laughs> and it was the best thing I ever did. So I don't save all of the videos on my phone. I usually like, like for today I filmed this video, I filmed the weekly reading video, I have those saved on my phone, but then at the end of the day, once everything's uploaded on YouTube, I delete it all. So I really only have 20% of the space used because a lot of it is pictures and stuff. <laughs> so it's nice. Um, and then also uploading from my phone to YouTube isn't that bad because it, I feel like it, it's faster than when you like download it from the webcam and then you did it on YouTube. Like that would take a while, but that's the other thing I was going to say is to minimize the download time. Like if you don't want to be waiting forever to download your videos, you got to have fast internet. <laughs> so that's the other thing my husband and I did was we bought the fastest internet. Um, and so our download time is really quick. Like my 30 minute videos take maybe 10 minutes tops, maybe not even 10 minutes. Um, maybe not even 10 minutes. I don't know. I don't really time it, but it doesn't take that long. <laughs> like I literally will download it all. I mean, I'll, I'll upload it all on YouTube while I'm like doing other things in the house. And so it just works. Um, so I've never had a, a problem with like YouTube videos not downloading or taking forever. Like, I guess maybe people who struggle with that because they have editing software, which is the other point I'm gonna make is I do not use editing software. I don't have any. <laughs> um, so maybe that's why my videos don't take forever to, to download because I'm not using software. I don't know. 
Um, I strictly, oh my God, I keep getting like uh, alerts on my phone. Sorry. Um, I, I strictly just download from my phone. So it's the best thing ever. <laughs> now there is another app that I do use as a middleman, um, for my videos, like recently for these vlogs that I've been doing. Um, and especially if I have to like cut a video off and then I got to refilm another time, like a separate, you know, two separate videos. Um, I use iMovie, which I wasn't using before. And then someone told me on YouTube, they were like, use iMovie so you could cut stuff out or whatever. So I was like, what? <laughs> so I guess iMovie is my video editing software. <laughs> so I downloaded the app and I'm able to upload like multiple pieces of video, uh, you know, all together in one giant video. And then um, that's how I was able to do today's video. So <laughs> I use iMovie, you you upload it on the app and then you download it, you save it to your phone or I save it to my phone. And then when it's saved on my phone, I download or I upload on YouTube from my phone. I hope that makes sense. <laughs> that's what I do. Um, I try to upload from the app to YouTube, but it was telling me something about like the video length was too long. And so I don't know if that's just like a, a thing with the app or whatever. So I was like, well, fuck it. I have, I have, I have, I have space on my phone. So let me just save it to my phone and then I'll upload it from there. So that just works for me. I don't encounter issues with that. <laughs> um, what else? What else? <laughs> um, when I'm filming, like, I think I've said this before in other videos, but just always make sure if you're filming with your phone, you know we have grease on our faces and stuff. So just always make sure that your the recording hole, like the little recording thingy is clean. So I always like wipe it with my shirt. Just make sure it's clean because the cleaner it is, the more clear your videos are. Now, when I film my videos, I see myself. <laughs> so I use the the camera, like the, the selfie. Um, the selfie mode on the camera on the video so I could see myself because um, I've, I have found that if I could see myself and I'm talking to myself I'm a little bit more confident than if like I'm talking to the back of the phone because it's filming the other way and I don't know if I look good or I don't know if it's like focused on my boobs or I don't know if like my belly is hanging out like <laughs> so if I could see myself then it makes me more confident and I tend to just get through the video a lot better than if I just if I can't see myself so uh, um, I, I have found that like the reversed video is a little bit more fuzzy than if I were to film the other way. Does that make sense? So sometimes I will film the other way, like if I want a real crisp video, but I've just found that if you have good lighting in the house um, or if you're outside, it's really good. But if you have good lighting and if you clean the camera thingy, <laughs> the little hole, um, you'll have a pretty clean video. So I haven't had anyone complain that my videos are too fuzzy or whatever. Um, I think the only thing, the only issue I have right now is like the, the lens like not focusing when I want it to focus on something. So sometimes like if I put something up, it doesn't always focus right away. I don't know. I don't know if that's just a lighting issue or, or it's my phone, but um, <laughs> I don't know. Um, what else? So when I'm filming a video, I always like to have my stack. And sometimes I don't even use a stack when I'm filming. Like I usually use it for me because I'm I sit higher up. But when I'm filming for, for a video, I usually just have the, the tripod on the table. So let me put it on the table. And I usually sit it on the corner of the table, the corner of the desk, right? So then you see the rest of the table. And then I tilt it down so that you could see more of the table and not, you know, and then that's it. Obviously, I would open the windows a little bit to get a little bit more lighting in here. Um, and then I would just film... I film my video reading, you know? I don't use my laptop for that, so. I just had that out for the other part. But then I would just film my tarot reading. So that's how I do it. It's really easy. Um, it's self-explanatory, and it works. It works for me, like, <laughs> it works for me. So, um, yeah, you guys, that's, I hope that it answers questions. I hope that that kind of cleared up some confusion um, because some of you guys were asking about how I film and I know I did a video, it's probably been like three years and I was actually using the laptop method. So 
I'll try and find it to link it in this video, but um, I did do a video of like how I set up for my tarot readings and I think I do talk about the webcam and how I set up the webcam on my laptop. But I totally do it different now because I do film from my iPhone. So I found filming from the iPhone is so much easier. Maybe, like I said, maybe one day if I really get invested into YouTube, I'll buy an actual camera to film with. But for now, the phone is just perfect. So I don't really want to fuck with that because it's like if it's perfect for me, why mess with it? <laughs> So anyways, you guys, thank you guys for watching. I hope this answered your questions. If you have any other questions for me about how I do the setups, where I got my stuff or whatever, leave comments below. I do read the comments. Um, I do my best to try to respond to most of them, but if I don't respond, I do see it. So um, leave comments if you have questions and I will get to you guys as soon as I can. Bye guys.